Hi boys and girls, it's Doug from the Chatham Kent Police Service. I'd like to start out by thanking all of you for looking after mom and dad and your grandparents by washing your hands on a regular basis. And I truly hope you're keeping in contact with all your friends from school by using technology. I'd like today to read to you one of my favorite books called Brady Brady and the B-Team. It was the start of a new season and Brady was excited. He just knew this would be the best season ever for the Ice Hogs. As always, Brady arrived first at the rink, followed by Tess. The dressing room buzzed with chatter. Everyone was eager to get out on the ice. They would have to work hard since this was their first game will be tomorrow. At the start of practice, coach reviewed the drills on the chalkboard. Okay, he called out. I want you all to loop around the pylons as fast as you can. Then zip over here and zip over there. Then pass the puck to another player who will take a shot on Chester. Wait a minute, where is Chester? The dressing room fell silent. How are they going to do their drills without a goalie? I guess we'll have to cancel our practice, Coach said, shaking his head. Wait, one of us could go in net, Brady suggested. Yeah, Tess agreed. I'll get the spare equipment. Everyone breathed a sigh of relief. Practice wouldn't be canceled after all. Tree was the first to volunteer. He played goalie in street hockey. This couldn't be very different, he thought. Tree thought wrong. The ice was way too slippery and the equipment was way too small. Caroline tried next, but her glasses kept fogging up. She couldn't see a thing. Then Tess took a turn. She twirled and spun and didn't stop a single shot. Kev went in, but he never stopped talking until coach asked him to collect all the pucks inside the net. The first practice of the year was a disaster. Everyone was disappointed. Brady and Tess were saying goodbye outside the rink when they spotted Chester running across the parking lot. Sorry I'm late, Chester yelled. He was out of breath and dropping equipment everywhere. Late, practice is over, said Brady. Where were you? Chester Brent bent over to pick up his goalie pads. Uh, I just... There was something I had to do. But it was an important practice, Brady replied. Our first game is tomorrow. I'm sorry, Brady, Brady. I wanted to be here, but I, I slept in. Chester was making up excuses, but Brady wasn't sure why. The next morning, the dressing room was quiet. Everyone was nervous of the first game of the year, especially after such a horrible practice. Tree hummed as he adjusted his shoulder pads. Caroline brushed her hair over and over. Kevin talked nonstop and Chester was missing. We'd like to take a turn between the pipes, asked coach, swinging the goalie stick in the air. Nobody volunteered. Their knees shook and their teeth chattered as the ice hog stepped onto the ice. They were playing an annoying team called the Hounds without a real goalie. It didn't take the Hounds long to start teasing. Hey, Ice Hogs, aren't you going to say your team cheer? Here's one for you. We've got the power. We've got the might. We're going to lose big with no goalie in sight. The Ice Hogs did lose big that day, really big. It was a terrible way to start the season. We got creamed out there, Caroline groaned, all because of Chester. How could he do that to us, asked Kev. He really let us down. Brady didn't like losing, but he refused to believe his friend would hurt the team on purpose. He must have a good reason to miss the game, he said. At school the next day, Kev saw Chester talking to his teacher at recess. He was about to say hello when he heard Chester say something about joining the B team and trying to win a championship. Kev was upset. Chester on another hockey team, he wondered. That must be why he wasn't at our game yesterday. On the way home from school, Kev caught up to Brady and told him what he'd overheard. Brady was shocked too, to learn that Chester was playing for a different hockey team. What would the Ice Dogs do without him? This would definitely not be their best year yet. Brady could hardly sleep that night. He decided to talk to Chester first thing in the morning. Brady was eating breakfast when Hattrick brought in the morning paper. Chester's picture was on the front page. Chester was on another team, but it wasn't a hockey team. 
It was a B team, a spelling B team. Brady ran to the phone. You're in a spelling bee? Why didn't you tell me? I didn't think I'd have to. I figured I'd be eliminated before I'd miss any games. Then Chester, Chester whispered, besides, I was afraid everyone would laugh. I think it's great, said Brady. We thought you would join another hockey team. I'd never be disloyal to the Ice Hogs, Chester replied. But what am I going to do? The final round of the spelling bee is tonight. I am so nervous. I hope I can still make it to the game. Don't worry about that, Chester, Brady told him. We'll manage somehow. Good luck with the spelling bee. Brady could hardly wait. He had some phone calls to make. That afternoon, Coach phoned all the Ice Hogs and asked them to come extra early to the game. They met outside the arena. I'm afraid we may have to play without Chester again tonight, he told them. Everyone gasped. So it was true. Chester had abandoned the Ice Hogs. Coach held up his hand. Wait, he said. Brady, Brady, why don't you tell them what's going on? Chester's still an ice hog. He's competing in the Spelling Bee Finals, and he needs our support. The ice hogs ran to the school. The gym was packed with people. Some kids sat in chairs on the stage, but one chair was empty. Chester's. He was hiding backstage. Well, what are you guys did doing here? Chester mumbled through chattering teeth. We came to cheer you on, Chester, Brady replied. But I, I, what about the game? Asked Chester. We can beat the Dragons anytime, Tess replied. You're a part of our team and team sticks together. Before Chester went on stage, they huddled together for their team cheer. We've got the power, we've got the might. Chester's a great goalie who can spell words right. Chester was doing very well when the Ice Hogs had to leave for their game. Brady gave his friend a thumbs up as they hurried away. The dressing room was quiet as the team laced up their skates. The Ice Hogs wanted Chester to win, but they had secretly hoped he would make the game. Now they would have to play without him again. Just then, Coach walked in. Listen up, he announced. You should all know that Chester is here. The Ice Hogs cheered as Chester dashed through the door. He was holding a gigantic medal and a framed certificate. Wow, you won, Brady yelled. Yep, but I couldn't have done it without my team, Chester replied with a big grin. As the team took to the ice, Brady put up his arm around his friend. I forgot to ask, what was your winning word? Chester grinned. Dependability, he said. Definition, please, said Brady. I-C-E-H-O-G-S, he spelled. Chester was back and this really would be the best season ever. Again, on behalf of the Chatham Camp Police Service, I want to thank you guys and stay safe.